We are at Convict Lake. And look how beautiful it is. Look. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So this mama deer and two babies are right at our campsite and obviously people have been feeding them because she is not scared. She doesn't care. She has no fear. And she's waiting outside our trailer door. <laughs> and she won't leave. <laughs> Say hi, we're in Convict Lake. Oh. at Convict Lake. She's right behind you. And finally get to do a little fishing. Okay, now you get to hold it.
far. We wanted to get a lot of really cool drone footage of the lake and the surrounding areas, but this lake is really close to an airport, so we couldn't even get the drone off the ground. So when we got here on this camping trip, we realized our battery we think is dead. Here's a close up of our little generator that we brought with us and Wendy is going to tell you all about it coming up right now. So we're getting packed up and ready to go after our trip to Convict Lake, California. This is our first experience dry camping. And we learned a few things. So one thing that we found out is that our battery, for some reason, isn't holding a charge. So that's something that you might want to check out before you go dry camping. So we've had it hooked up to the truck and we run the truck every once in a while to keep a charge in the battery so we can run lights and a few things in the trailer, including the refrigerator, which even though we have it switched to propane, it won't run if there isn't enough battery power to keep it on, or at least it didn't for us. <clears throat> the check light kept coming on and the the fridge wouldn't stay on unless we had some kind of battery power going on. So that's why we kept it hooked up to the truck. So then you just have to be careful not to drain your tow vehicle battery as well. Also our first time using the generator. So we bought this little generator actually for power outages at our house when they were doing blackouts during fire weather in California. It's, a, it's got 4,000 starting watts and 3,500 running watts. It's the Champion Digital Hybrid. I think it's about 69 decibels, so it's not too bad. Actually, no, I think it's 67. You'll have to check that. It's not too loud. I mean, it's not a Honda. <clears throat> but it pretty much got the job done. We were able to use the microwave and we could turn on the TV, do a couple of other things while we had it hooked up. This lake does have a three hour maximum runtime on generators, so you can't run them all day. Also, in this campground, we have bear boxes because the bears might come down from the mountains and come after your food or your dog or your child. So, all in all, it was a good dry camping experience. Learned a few things, and I think we'll be better prepared next time. And that's it. Bye-bye.